Okay, I finally beat Kingdom Hearts 3, and I just want to do a quick review about it because this game was everything and even more than I wanted it to be. Okay, like, I, I, I had to write down notes because it was just too much to just grasp at once, so let me start off. I'm gonna start off talking about story, gameplay, favorite moments, and then the whole climax of, like, everything. Alright, so in terms of story, it was just fantastic. Everything was just coming together, and you're just like, oh, okay, that's gonna resolve, that's gonna resolve, oh, you guys are beating, you guys are coming together, you guys are trying to find this person, finally, people who are meant to talk are talking, like, Sora's talking to Aqua, Riku's talking to Aqua, Mickey's confronting Aqua and saying, yeah, I'm so sorry I left you in the realm of darkness, Mickey. Oh my god, my heart keeps breaking every time a new game comes out, man, jeez. I loved um, the the whole like new princess type of thing. How they're just like, hey, you guys need to get your seven gardens of light, and if you don't, we're just gonna attack all the princesses. And it's like, okay, um, so let's get fighting <laughs> because like they needed a reason to gather the seven lights, even though they had to save people. They needed to get them because if they weren't gonna get everyone saved, they were just gonna go and like mash up. Elsa, Anna, and Rapunzel, and I'm just like, damn, y'all really out for these princesses again? <laughs> I like how it just came like full circle. I love when things do that. I just love that they were just going to go and save people. Like, playing the games where Roxas, you know, had a sad ending, Shion had a sad ending, Terra Ventus, Aqua had a sad ending, I'm just like, finally, my people are being saved. So that's what I loved. And then the story of like, how everything, I don't know, it, was, it just flew, it just went well. That's all I can say about the story. The story was just amazing. I have to play it again though, because getting it on like a first glance, you're just, it's just too much to absorb at once, so I'm gonna play it again for sure. What's the next thing? Gameplay. Okay, the gameplay was amazing. Let me tell you, I did not stop playing this game. I beat it in two days, around 20, 30 hours, and I did take my time. Don't get me wrong, it took my time. However, all my time was just being spent on Kingdom Hearts. I forgot to eat, I went to sleep late. But it was all worth it though, I've been waiting for this game for years! The gameplay was just so addicting. It was not so challenging where it made you so angry. I played on standard mode. It was like a great balance. Except at times, um, the attraction flow was so overpowered. Like you're, you're, <laughs> you're trying to fight this boss and then say, hey, pirate ship! And then you just like start swinging around in the air and they just get tossed around. You can just see the health bar just deplete, deplete, deplete. So I was just like, okay, for important boss battles, I'm not gonna do it. Like when I was battling against Aqua, I was like, no, this is gonna be like an organic fight. Just Keyblade transformations, magic, dodging, blocking, regular Keyblade mashing, that's it. i like, why would I want to box Aqua <laughs> with a pirate ship? Um, the Keyblade transformations, oh my gosh, they were obsessive. I especially loved the yo-yo one and the frozen blades. Those ones were like my go-to ones. I mean, they had like guard form, which was cool, but the frozen one with the claws, yo, that was my go-to. I was like, yo, let me just change to this frozen Keyblade. Just, 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 oh, you're down to like zero health? Okay, that's good. Let's move on to the next Heartless. Yo, that was, that was probably my favorite thing out of the whole game in terms of gameplay. The magic was well done. I loved how we got like a tease of it in 0 0.2, how like if you would constantly like use a certain type of magic like thunder, you would get like a bigger spell. That was so useful. And I was just like, fire, 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 Raga. <laughs> that was amazing. Favorite moments. Oh gosh. Number one, number one favorite moment was Aqua being saved. I am such a huge fan for Aqua. After Birth by Sleep, when she was not only the only master of her, of her friends and like had to go through the worlds and deal with all of their consequences because she was like the last person to visit them, she sacrificed herself for her friend and she turned her world into this hidden place so that her friend could sleep. Like, yo, Sora could never... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Yo, but Aqua, to walk around the realm of darkness for 10 years because you saved your friends, oh man, I felt for her and for her to be saved, oh man, I tell you, when I tell you I was crying, <laughs> I was legit crying. Yo, tears were going down my face. I had to pause and go, no, this is too much. I need to get tissues. I just love that it was Sora 
who saved her and that you saw in like the movie and like in the gameplay afterwards when you defeated her he reached out his hand for her and she reached back out before she's like is this how this ends and i was like yo yo she deserves this oh that was like that was like the moment for me and then the next moment was playing as aqua yo i got so hyped i got so hyped when she's um, battling against Vinitas and she's like, no, Sora, I got this. I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, Tetsuya and Amora. I'm ready. And then when the camera pans around and you go at her back, I'm like, yo, are we playing as her? And the battle commences. I was like, yo, pause right here. Tetsuya and Amora, Square Enix, thank you. Now, Vinitas, get ready to get mashed up, man. Yo, I love playing as Aqua's style. Like, we've been playing as Sora for so long, but the moment I got to play as Aqua, I was like, yo, this is like the icing on the icing of the cake. That was just another moment for me that was just up there. Another moment I loved was Ventus waking up. Oh my gosh. When Aqua was in trouble, I was like, Ventus, wake up, wake up. And then Sora just gained the power to awaken him. And then while Ventus is being awakened, he's thanking Sora for keeping him safe. And I'm just like, yo, y'all coming out here with the waterworks, okay? <laughs> Like, these stories are just coming to conclusion, and I'm just like, yo, last time I saw Ventus was in 2010, so this is nine years ago, and he finally just breaks through the glass and protects Aqua, and I'm just like, yo, what are you guys doing to me? <laughs> Another moment, I'm just gonna, like, wrap up, like, the Birth by Sleep trio, because, like, that's my trio right there, was when, um, oh, when the Lingering Will came and he blocked Terra North and Terra North's like, who the hell are you? I was like, do you not remember me? Do you not remember me? Yo, Terra's so strong, man. He came and then with his Keyblade transformations with his cannon and his whip, I was just like, yo, what am I seeing before my eyes? This is like what I've dreamed of for years, finally coming to fruition. Wow. That was another moment for me that was just up there. And then, ooh, when Terra broke free. When Terra broke free and they all got reunited, Terra, Ventus, and Aqua. <sighs> when I tell you my eyes were so full of tears, it was like a flood. I tears were just coming down. I was just like, what is this? This was nine years of just me wishing for them to be reunited, and they're here. And it was just so well done, too. Tara just ripped off the mask, and he's like, I am going to be free. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And then fighting as Sora with Ventus and Aqua. And then Aqua healing me in the battle. I had to press pause and go, what is this? What am I watching? This is, like, wow. But, yo, my tears, whoa, tears are coming down. I keep saying that, but this is, this is what the game did to me. And then when Roxas came back... And Shion came back and Axel remembered Shion. <sighs> Whoa. And then when you were fighting with Roxas and Shion as Sora, yo, I just could not take it, man. This game was just too much for me. All my trios reuniting and becoming whole again and together again. Wow, man, I couldn't. I couldn't. Those are the highlights of the game for me, but that's what I wanted to see going into it, but I did not expect it to be w that well done. Like, I expected to cry, but like, I was sobbing. <laughs> oh, 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 I wrote this down. When Donald and Goofy saved Sora and Kyrie. Oh, man. Oh man, Terranor went to go in, tried to kill Kairi, and Sora jumped in the way and blocked Kairi by hugging her. Everyone was screaming, no Sora, no Sora! Donald and Goofy did not hesitate once, they did not hesitate for a second. They ran in there, Goofy came in with his shield, Donald came, oh, when Donald did Zeta Flare, <sighs> I got chills man, cause yo, those people, Donald, Goofy, and Mickey were like my best friends as kids, but seeing them protect Sora, Yo, and then Donald, like, died, I guess, of exhaustion. Yo, my heart was heavy. And what I love about it, too, because, like, I'm thinking about it now, is that they did not want a repeat of what Sora did in Kingdom Hearts 1, where he gave his... Um, he freed Kyrie's heart from his by killing himself. So they're just like, nope, we're not trying to go through that again. And they did not hesitate. They just came in there and defended him. Oh, man, I was in tears again. <laughs> 
Let's see if there's another favorite moment. Oh, let it go. The, okay, I'm gonna end on a happy note. Let it go. I love that. That was so amazing. Because it's just like, what would happen if you're watching a Disney princess sing? And that's basically what it was. Sora's like, where is that coming from? That's Elsa's voice. And then you see, the cold never bothered me anyway. And then they're just watching her cape fly off. I just love that. It was just so good. And then the graphics for it too. When you compare it with the movie, I was just like, damn, this is, this is really good. What the, is this the movie? Like, what am I watching? Um, what else is there to talk about? I don't know. It's everything coming together beautifully was just the best thing I could hope for. And this game had a lot to live up to. You had the last numbered title game was in 2005-06, right? But then you had so many games before that, expanding the universe, expanding the story. It was just like, you had a lot to live up to, but you guys did it. And I was just blown away, man. So... Congratulations, Tetsuya Nomura, everyone at Square Enix. Thank you guys so much for making this beautiful game, this beautiful franchise. It has given me so much, and you guys did it. Like, I'm not, not that I'm shocked, but I am just so happy to be a fan from day one and then see this long story just come to a conclusion masterfully, if I said that correctly. <laughs> Wow. But yeah, that's my review of Kingdom Hearts 3. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Square Enix again. And if you guys want to see more, click that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Peace! I did not mean for that to be 13 minutes long. Oh well. <laughs>